Hello everyone, I trust that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been a week of a heavy spiritual warfare. I know that many of you know exactly what I'm talking about. The devil is afraid of us and he's not pleased with what the Lord is about to do in our lives. Amen. Thank you so much for all your prayers. I've been keeping you in my prayers as well. A brother in Christ from Germany sent me an email and he said that he has been seeing number 36 in a remarkable frequency and he asked me if I knew the reason and so I prayed over it and I asked the Lord, Lord what are you trying to tell us here? And the Lord told me Ezekiel 36. This was such a confirmation for so many prophecies that God has given me in the last couple of years. For a better understanding please read the whole chapter Ezekiel 36. But I'm going to tell you what the Lord really highlighted to me from this chapter. Here he's speaking to the mountains of Israel and he highlighted verses 9 to 11. I'm going to read them for you now. For indeed I am for you and I will turn to you and you shall be tilled and sown. I will multiply men upon you, all the house of Israel, all of it. And the cities shall be inhabited and the ruins rebuilt. I will multiply upon you man and beast and they shall increase and bear young. I will make you inhabited as in former times and do better for you than at your beginnings. In some German translations, here it's written, and I will do better for you than ever before. And that is what the Lord really highlighted to me. So we are now in a new season, in a period of time in which we will see a never seen before favor of God upon his children. Especially those who have sown diligently will reap a plentiful harvest. But it's not because we deserve anything. No, because we've all fallen short of God's glory. It's because God wants to bless us and to prosper us according to Jeremiah 29, 11. But he also wants to reestablish his most holy name among the nations. Chapter 36, verses 22 and 23, he says, Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, I do not do this for your sake, O house of Israel but for my holy name's sake, which you have profaned among the nations wherever you went. And I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned in their midst. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when I am hallowed in you before their eyes. And he also gave me Ezekiel 36, verse 36. Then the nations which are left all around you shall know that I, the Lord, have rebuilt the ruined places and planted what was desolate. I, the Lord, have spoken it, and I will do it. And the Lord also laid on my heart to start a three-day fast. So I'm starting today, Thursday to Saturday. We are fasting to leave the old season behind, the season of pruning, preparation, and learning with a grateful heart. And we are entering the new season, the season of never seen before favor of God, the season of exponential growth, healings, miracles, signs and wonder, the season of multiplication and also the season of wealth transfer. If you'd like to join us, please write in the comments I'm in and also like and share the video, subscribe to the channel. I would also like to thank everyone who has reached out and asked how to make a donation. This is a non-profit channel, but if you feel led by the Holy Spirit to make a donation to this channel, you can find a link. I set up a link and you will find it down below. I pray that multiple blessings come back upon you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. God bless you all. I'll see you next time.